Hi everybody and welcome back to utestio.ninja. My name is Tristan and it's time for our annual Weebly tutorial series. And this year what we're going to do is we're going to push Weebly to its limits. And I'm actually kind of excited about this because we're going to do some really neat stuff. What we're going to do is we are actually going to build an online course within Weebly. Now if you say, Tristan, that sounds really boring. I don't want to build an online course. Well, hold on just a second because we're also going to build in a blog for this. And we're also going to build an e-commerce store. So the idea is that the blog articles are going to have some short training, just some free information that we share about, you know, SEO tips and different tools and resources that you guys can use to kind of help increase your reach with your Weebly site. And in the e-commerce section, you know, you can sell, you know, physical products, but you can also sell services. And that's one of the things that we're going to offer is if somebody looks at this and they go, oh my gosh, this is too much work, then we want to be able to offer that service, you know, for us to go in and do the SEO for them as an option and then the course itself is going to teach people how to do it for themselves if they prefer to go the diy route so that's what we're going to be doing with this year's tutorial and it is going to be kind of crazy i'm excited about it as far as things that have changed from last year the only real difference is that weebly was actually purchased by square square is a competitor for paypal and so it has a couple more options for your e-commerce stuff so you have like square built into it but aside from that, nothing else has really changed in like the last two years. They have some new themes. They have a lot more apps, but as far as like the way the websites work and the way that you build the websites and interact with the content, it's all pretty much the same. Now, if you're not familiar with that, let me give you a quick tour. Once you have created your account and make sure that you are using our affiliate link in the description for that, that's how we get paid for making these videos. Create your account and then you'll want to set up your first page and what we'll ask you to do is we'll ask you to select a theme. So you're going to see a page that looks like this and actually you'll be seeing this one right here. And what you want to do is you want to pick one that has a layout that you like. What we're specifically looking for is we're looking at the menu options, which you'll see like over here or over here. And then this will also have some effect on the types of headers that you have available. So like the really simple ones are just very basic where some of the more advanced ones have like a whole bunch of different kinds of headers and like splash pages and landing pages and things like that. Uh, technically it can all be landing pages, but some of them are splash pages. So just something to keep in mind over there. Right now we are using uh, Brill, but I think I actually want to change it. I think we're going to change it over here to paper. So first thing I want to do is I want to take a look and see what it would look like by making this adjustment. That's not too bad. It's a little bit more mobile -y. So this is where your menu is going to be. And these are all the different sub pages. I'm cool with that. And then everything else stays pretty much the same. So we're going to go ahead and choose this one. You can change your theme at any time just by clicking on themes, change theme, and then picking a different one. If you don't like any of those themes, I suggest you guys go over to bamboostudio.com. It's bamboo with two A's. And what these guys do is they make custom and premium Weebly themes. And they actually look really good. My favorite is this one right here. This is the X theme. And I just like it. It's 40 bucks, but you can do all kinds of really cool stuff with it. And they're really, really easy to install. And uh, they just look really good. And we have a video on how to install these. Nothing has really changed. Um, but basically all you do is come over here to where it says uh, import theme, follow the instructions, and then you'll find the theme down here. But this is what you're looking at. Like I said, you just have some different options as far as the layout. You have some different tools and uh, I think it looks really good. In fact, we're probably going to go and install this here as soon as, uh, as, soon as we get to that part of the uh, tutorials. So for the meantime, we're going to use this. Now to actually add content to the page, first thing I suggest that you do is you add a section. So for example, if you're going to have one section, it's going to be your call to action. Let that be its own section. If you're going to have another section, it's going to be your tutorials. Let that be its own section. Just so that we can kind of adjust things a little bit more easily. You can drag things up and down without having to mess around with the entire structure of the site or it, it just saves you a lot of headache. Now you also have some pre-made layouts available to you. So for example, if you want to add a menu, so you're working in a restaurant then all you got to do is choose that option, push the button. And then what it will do is it will automatically add all the individual elements needed to create this section just like that. So for example, this is just an image. That's the logo. This is just text. These are all just text. And then this is going to be a button. You have like spacers and things like that in here. But like this button is going to be this over here. All your text is just this. And so it kind of automates that process a little bit for you. If you ever want to delete it, Click on the background, click delete, and it's gone. 
So what I have here is just a basic layout for my home page. This is going to be my header. This is just going to tell people what it is they're looking at, let them know what's going to be on the website. Some information about me and my team is going to go right here. This is going to be information about the course that we're going to offer. This is going to be our call to action. And then this is going to be a contact form where people can reach out to us with any questions that they have. Now, the course that we're going to be building in this is actually going to be an SEO training program for small Weebly websites. So for example, if you have a little mom and pop shop and you want to show up in Google, we're going to show you how to do that. And that way you don't have to go out and hire an expensive SEO like me in order to do the work for you. All of these are just pre-made layouts. The only thing that I adjusted was with this one here, I changed the background a little bit. I'm going to need to do this again because it's still kind of hard to see the text. But to do that, you just click on the background, edit background, and then you can either replace it with a different image or you can edit it. And to edit, you click the button right there. And then you can again change your images. So if we wanted to go with something that was a little bit darker, like this, hit select. And then we can blur it out a little bit. And then we need to make it significantly darker because our text is really dark already. But since we're happy with that, we just click save. But that's how you add content to the page and how you add the different elements. We're gonna come back in, we're gonna do all this part off screen, you know, where we write out our text and everything, just because that part's really boring and nobody wants to watch that. The next thing we want to do is we want to add a blog page to this. And so to do that, you go over to pages and you press the little plus button right here and then you click the blog page. Now what this will do is it will create a specific page on your site that will be just for blog stuff. And you can have multiple blogs on a site at once. And then you just push the button, add in the information that you want for it, and then you're done. Now as far as the information that's available, you have different kinds of headers, your visibility. So this will be if it's something that's available to the public. So anybody who visits the site, if that particular section is protected with a password, or if that section is only available to paid members of your site and or only specific groups of paid members. Now this section right here using the members of the groups, this is actually how we're going to make our course uh, private on here so that we can only access the course if you are a paid member of it. So that's where that information is. Your SEO settings are going to be right here. We will be talking about this in its own video. So we're not going to dig into that right now. But since I already had this page done, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And then I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. So um, this is where you go to manage your comments. We don't have any of those yet. This is where you go to manage your blog settings. You can also find this under settings. Head back to build. And you'll notice that you still have options for uh, adding different elements to the page. So for example, if you wanted to rewrite the part about yourself, the author information, the archives, create different categories, all that's going to be right here. If you want to add in a picture of something, you can do that. But typically all of this is going to show up depending on the theme that you use uh, apart or separate from the blog post themselves. If you want to create a new post, all you do is click right here where it says new post and then you start writing. Again, you can add in the different elements that you want. Those are all gonna be right over here. And so you can add a gallery to your blog post you know, if you want to. You do have some extra options over here. So you can schedule when the post is actually gonna go live. You can manage your comments from here. And then you can also set up your categories. And then under advanced, again, you have a little bit more options for your SEO. And we'll be talking about that again in the next video. And then as soon as you're done with it, just hit post and it's done and you can set to automatically share on Facebook and Twitter as well anytime you make a change to anything make sure to hit publish otherwise the information won't be saved so in our case we have our home page our SEO articles this is gonna be our blog page our contact page which doesn't have anything in it yet and then we have an external page so if you want to add an external page click right here is this external page give it a name, give it a link. So if you go into the menu and if you click on this, this will actually take you back over here to my YouTube channel. And then since we have some products available, then we're gonna go through and we're gonna create some product and category pages, but that will be, again, its own specific video because you may not be looking for that right now. And then if you wanna add something in the menu, like it's just gonna be a drop down, then you just use the non-clickable menu option. And so that'd be like, if you have services and then you wanna have all the service underneath that, then you'd put one of these that'd be services, and then you can add all the other ones as sub pages. So anyway, show you something like that. Here's our non-clickable thing. And we're gonna 
drag that underneath the options, move it a little bit to the right, and that will make it a sub page. So if we come back over here, there's an unclickable page. Click on that again, YouTube videos. So for example, if you want to do something like tools, you know, one of the things that we'd like to do is have some affiliate offers on here. So we would put a non-clickable item and we'd call this tools, right? And then we would take all of our affiliate links. And so for example, we can go with bamboo, right? Say external page, I'm gonna call this bamboo studio. That'd be our link, have it open in a new tag, or tab, excuse me, hit done. And then like this, doop. And so now, tools, Bamboo Studio. So we can do Bamboo Studio, we can do any other affiliates that we wanna put over here. And that's just one example. There are a lot of different things that you can do with this, but that's what we're gonna be doing with this particular page or with this particular site. The other thing people tend to have a lot of questions about is choosing the site's domain. So if you're gonna have just one website, then we recommend that you just keep everything on Weebly. It's gonna be a lot faster, it's gonna be a lot simpler, and it's probably gonna be a little bit cheaper. If you plan to have multiple websites, or if in the future you'd want to change this to like WordPress, then we would highly recommend that you, instead of purchasing the domain through Weebly, then you want to purchase it through something like Namecheap or HostGator, and then you want to connect the domains. And that's going to be the second option right here where it says connect to a domain that you already own. This is a little bit more complicated. You need to make a couple little changes to your name servers, but it's very, very easy and we have a tutorial on how to do that. And I'll put a link to that. You'll see it over here in the uh, in the cards. And for the time being, if you want to keep it free, if you want to have a completely free website, then you can use a subdomain of Weebly. So for example, right now we're using seo-ninja-tristan.weebly.com. And so we could probably actually you know shrink this a little bit, make it even shorter. Uh, we might even be able to get to like SEO Tristan. Is that available? So then uh, once you found one that you like, hit continue. And then if you ever want to change it, then you just come back over here to settings. Here's the option, click where it says change, and then you can adjust that. The other thing that I recommend that you guys do right off the bat when you first start off this website is again under settings, look for your SSL options. This makes it so that way the information that's transferred between the user and any servers that you have is secured. So things like uh, passwords, things like login information, things like credit card information if you're going to have an e-commerce. I believe, but I'm not sure, in order to have anything like any sort of e-commerce on here, then you have to have SSL turned on. But this is a good thing, and all you have to do is click right here where it says enable. Mine's already turned on, so you don't have to worry about that. Your favicon, that is this right here. You see where it says Weebly? It has the little W next to it. Actually, that one's kind of hard to see. Let's get bamboos. So it has the little green logo next to it. That's just the logo. That's the favicon. So in order to change that, all you got to do is come over here and you will need to um, upgrade your site to one of their paid plans in order to change that just because right now we're on a Weebly subdomain. And you just have some other information over here. Uh, typically you won't mess up with a lot of this stuff. Anything you're looking for, you're probably going to find it over here under settings. Here are your SEO options. Again, we're going to talk about this in its own video. Editors lets you add people to the page. So for example, if you want to work with some other people and let them add content to the site, this is where you do that. My apps, there are a ton of apps now and you can find them over here under the app store. Last time we did these tutorials, I think there were like 20 apps. Now there are over 300. So if there is some sort of additional functionality that you want and you don't see it normally, this is where you want to go. And then over here are your blog options. So this will show you like, so this will let you choose how many posts will show up per page and options to share stuff and your sidebars and some extra codes and things like that. That's all gonna be right over here. But that's how you get your website started for free, how you interact and adjust things with Weebly. And then also how to create your different page structure and also your blog posts. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is we are going to build our e-commerce store we're going to be offering some of our different FCO services and we're also going to go through and we're going to write out the site content but we'll do that between videos so you guys don't have to watch it because it's really boring but if you do have any questions for me so far make sure to leave them in the comment section and i will do my best to answer them i try to come in every day and answer all the comments and all the questions you guys leave for me if you guys do want to reach out to us and you'll find our contact information in the description of this video if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see the rest of the tutorial as we put it out, it should be coming out about one or two videos per week. Then uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notifications. So that way YouTube will notify you whenever we upload a new video.
Uh, that'll do it for me. My name's Tristan from UTSU.Ninja. Have yourselves an excellent day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.